What's up guys, Eagle Slayer 95 back at you with another video. Back with the juice again. And today we're gonna to talk about the press conferences yesterday with the coaches and the um, players and a little bit of Miles Sanders. Yesterday, I wanna start with the defensive coordinator, Jonathan Gannon. And I like the guy. I like the guy's grit. I like his um, demeanor. Looking forward to what he's going to um, bring to the table with his um, new scheme, his play design. Mostly looking forward to him not backing up the secondary 10 to 15 yards off the ball. We'll make that 20, actually. So um, what stood out to me, part of his press conference yesterday, was he was asked by some reporter what made you come to Philly? And he said in response, it's Philadelphia. And that answer right there, you know, makes you want to embrace him more. That's pretty much, pretty much that. I think he'll, I think he'll definitely be an upgrade over Jim Schwartz. He's um, you know Schwartz. Schwartz's time in Philly was a bit overwhelming. Well, maybe not a bit. It was very overwhelming. But with his um, start out, start out hot, and then it got cold, then hot again, and then it, it just. It just stuck out to be very vanilla, using favoritism with the guys to his players that he recruited when ever since he got there with Doug. But I'm not here to talk about Schwartz that much longer. The fact of the matter is we have a new guy with new juice, new energy, new characteristics, and I think he'll do wonders here. Well, I'm hopeful he will. We'll see how that turns out. They also interviewed offensive coordinator Shane Steichen, who is a new, another new guy here. Well, they're pretty much all new, besides the maybe one coach, I forget who, but yeah, it's pretty much a new regime here. And when Doug said it's the new, the, this is the new norm. What norm was that going? Nine and seven, back to back consecutive years. Turned out it didn't come to fruition from his words at the parade, but that's neither here nor there. And I think, um, yeah, the defense probably would be much better. You know, with the new acquisitions they brought in, like Wilson and Harris and K Kerrigan and all those guys. Bringing back um, some of the veterans like Cox, Graham, Hargrave, Sweat, Barnett. Some of those guys got to prove themselves, but it's just still be up to par. Something to keep your head on, glue, eyes glued to what happens there. And there's that. Now on to the running backs. We got the lead back, Miles Sanders, who has very high potential and comes with a bit of baggage with his injuries. And he's worked on his rookie year, um, dan dancing around in the in the holes when he bursts up, makes tries to make like a tries to get separation or see like an open space, he'll just like hesitate too long and it wouldn't go anywhere. But he's made some improvement on that and all he has to do is just play a full season, you know, great hands, great agility. The sky's the limit for him. There's absolutely no excuse for him to break a 600, 500, 600 yard season 
if fully healthy. Because the guy, in my opinion, is truly, truly special. He's like a, reminds me a lot like Saquon Barkley, but he wants to be his own player and I can appreciate that. You know? And the other guy we got in the draft, Kenneth Gainwell, drafted him in the fourth round, I believe it was, from a Memphis. He reminds me a lot like Sanders as well. You know, a lot of agility, a lot of juke cutting can be, um, he can be a nice Swiss Army knife with Sanders and Scott. Scott, on the other hand, he's um, our third stringer at, at this point right now, and he's in, he's like a nice little piece to have for like a special ingredient, especially with those Giants. I really think we should just use him for the Giants because he's simply their kryptonite because he comes up clutch every year, every two times a year against him. And, you know, I don't think Scott's very, you know, he's not like spectacular or anything, but he'll get the job done when his name's called upon. And um, that's that. So um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think about the team going forward. You excited for this new coaching staff? What do you, let me know what you think about Gannon. You excited for him? Is he energetic or is he just the same old another defensive coordinator with another big mouth? Let me know how you guys feel. This is Slayer out. Y'all have a great day. Peace.